Hello everyone, Gritz here. Welcome back to Portal 2. Uh, when we last ended, we were uh, just entering Pump Station Alpha and uh, fixing to go ahead and uh, turn it on. Green light, must be good. Uh, oh, gate's open. And we got a down and we got an up. Down doesn't look like uh, there's a whole lot going on. Just, uh, yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Oh, we can still see our portals from before. Uh, the blue is what we flung through, and the uh, orange is what we uh, fell down to for speedy things go in, speedy things go out. Okay. This door we can't do anything about. And here, the door we can't do anything about. So it looks like up is a bust also. Except maybe that. Looks like there might be an opening in the wall. Another door up there. Um, let's see, can we use. Yeah, we want to get onto that catwalk. Okay. So much for pump station alpha. Looks <coughs> like we have a uh, gel flow going off in this direction. Safety first. Together we can make 1956 the lowest unexpected casualty alum ever. Okay. A lot of casualties. Okay, that looks like a long way down. Uh, uh really? say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Okay. Science from scratch. So that's where we started there. And this is our new em uh, emancipation grid. And looks like our new elevators. see the uh, new Aperture Science logo here for the uh, boot screens. Uh, hopefully that'll be the last time you see those. Again, I'm going to try to cut most of that out. Oh. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Nice. I wonder if we still have our long fall boots on. Um, okay. You are here. Uh, navigational directory. Salt, asbestos, something else. So it looks like there were uh, multiple shafts, four through nine. We are at the bottom of shaft nine. So I guess we're going to be working our way up through, uh, through these globes. And uh, we are in the globe. Came up through the elevator, yeah. So we got to find where that uh, elevator exits this globe and goes to the next one. 
1953, Chamber 1. <laughs> Look at the size of that pack for the portal gun. So it looks like we're going to need them for all of uh, Shaft 9. Repulsion Gel. You know what? That's a lot of reading. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, just let you guys read through that. You might need to pause the video. But basically, um, it uh, helps us jump. That's the dropper. You can see it's kind of like a, a trampoline. Um, exit is up there. <clears throat> and then there's the uh, old style button. That's uh, actual mechanical. And then the uh, lighting. opens that door and there is a button over there and looks like a dropper there with the blue stuff underneath us extra bouncy and that is the old style companion cube works just the same as the uh, original. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Damn, Skippy. You tell them, Cave. Uh, looks like we might have multiple tests inside the globe. Uh, next test chamber that way. Um, n no, it's not. I say it is this way. Okay. Office, teletype, telephones, very, very cool. Can't use any of them. Just eye candy, can't react with any of it. Definitely want to mind your step around here. There are way too many places to fall. This next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Nice. Okay, so that's where we came in. We must be going this way. Uh, 1953, Chamber 2, stuff on the floor, platform, uh, looks like the button's up there. Opens a door there. Uh, is that our exit up there? And that's one of the nice things about the uh, blue gel is if you just do a little hop, it will catapult you somewhere else. So that is definitely our exit. 
Um, okay. Not sure where we're going to get a cube from. Oh, there's a cube. Wait for the uh, platform to come back. <clears throat> Ooh, almost missed it. Okay, so we have this now. Okay, that, uh, turn that on. Well, there's another one up there. Okay, so let's see. If we go through this, we'll fall onto that and bounce over to there. No, we won't. Okay. Another cube there. Uh, we gotta get up there. It's on the walls. Oh, I've got a stupid idea. <laughs> There's so much I've forgotten about this game. <laughs> Um, hole. A yucky hole. Don't think we want to mess with that at all. Now, is this emancipation grid going to kill that uh, cube? Probably. Let's not even play with it. Okay, so that opened up that one. Oh, because we're going up there. <clears throat> so... Excellent. So, let's keep going. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Nice. Okay, elevator, yay! So, based on what we know from the uh, You Are Here sign, <clears throat> we have just moved from one globe. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, um, based off of the you are here sign, we just moved into the next globe, and we can actually see here where that's the elevator moving us into the next globe. <clears throat> Got hung up on some schmutz there.
Caution, do not lean on railing. There's an exit there. Some hanging panels. Almost looks like the floor fell out on that room. Um, significant amount of lighting clues in this one. Probably all designed to confuse us. Okay. Ha! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> Ramps are expensive. Okay. So... Oh, jeez. Okay. X marks the spot. I don't want to be up there. there um what if we oh yeah we're covered in the blue stuff we were told not to get covered in the blue stuff uh okay so that's bouncy up there now <clears throat> so we're up here Exit is over there. Arrows. So it looks like we need to come from there, which we cannot put a portal on. We've got lots of high places to jump from to fling us. side of the screen here. Okay. Interesting. We can coat the whole room if we wanted to. Mm. Oh, goes on the ceiling too. And the blue stuff does receive portals as we know from there. Okay, so if we were to can we go up there? No, we can only get onto that platform. How do we get up to that one?
Not like that. Okay. Does anybody see a way up there? Almost made it. Uh, so if we jump from here, we're going to get about that high. <clears throat> we jumped from here. We got a little bit higher. got any ideas? Okay, so if those Emancipation Grills are just energy, <clears throat> what if... We did something like that. <clears throat> because we were able to jump up there before. There you go. Okay, so we're now up here. And it looks like we have to go that way. So since that goes through from this side of a drop, to that point, I think we can do the same. Uh, everybody hang on. Holy crap! Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Then don't tell us. Okay, uh, I need a break after that one. Um, go ahead and call this the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like. And uh, until next time, be safe. <laughs>